Hey guys, Mark Quartz Fishing. You know, if we look back at this year on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour, going into the championship here in September, a uh, place that, you know, it's not far away from home, but it's a place that I haven't been to in like 15 years. So it's gonna be a new body of water for me and there's gonna be a lot of things that have changed since I was there 15 years ago. But, you know, if we recap the year and, and kind of how it's gone and you know, some of the keys to the season. Um, first and foremost, all my sponsors I'm very thankful for. I couldn't do what I do without any of my sponsors. But, you know, if I look at that first tournament in Chamberlain, South Dakota, one of the keys there by far was either side imaging or Hummingbird 360. And both of those tools, you know, I, I was sitting in a really good spot after day one um, in third place and ended up the tournament in 15th, which was really happy with that finish great way to start the season um, but definitely the keys there were both side imaging and 360 and the cool thing was one of the other things that kind of just stand came out in my head right now is that the way I found that spot was actually with the Lake Master chip um, there was a little trough that led into a big flat and a lot of those fish were relating to that flat but not only did I see it on my Lake Master chip and then I paired it up with either the side imaging or the 360 and I could actually see the fish there. So, um, you know, Johnson Outdoors there again, I mean, just played a huge part in that tournament. Second tournament, uh, we made a trip to Green Bay. Uh, and there what you're, you know, that time of year when we were there, we were actually cast into rock piles, things like that in, in little um, key areas. And uh, there again, you know, how do you find those? The Lake Master Chip was definitely a huge part of that. And then obviously side imaging in 360. You know, it's gonna sound real repetitive when I talk about these things, but you know, those are the tools that I use day in and day out on the water to make me successful. And, and without those tools, I wouldn't be near as successful as I was. So that tournament got shortened by the weather, um, ended up 20th there on a one day tournament. And then we went to Lake Erie. Um, and Lake Erie just being an expansive body of water, one of the things you do there, is, and this goes back old school, is, is drive around a lot and use your 2D sonar. So there we were using our 2D sonar probably more than anything, and even a little bit of down imaging, but 2D sonar definitely was a key there. Just put on tons of miles while we were at Lake Erie and uh, just look for those you know little key spots. Um, I think we came out of there with a 18th or 22nd uh, place finish. Um, and then we uh, left there and we went to Lake Oahe in South Dakota. And Lake Oahe in South Dakota, what we ended up doing is, is fishing over really deep water. We were flushing, fishing flooded timber. And one of the things we were there using there more so than anything was probably down imaging. And the reason why we're using down imaging is so you could actually see those fish in the trees. Um, came away with a little bit of a disappointing finish there in 33rd but uh, maintain my angler of the year points. And going into this championship, we've got a 12 point lead, 40 guys fishing the championship. And um, you know, am I comfortable with that lead? No, but do I feel like I got a little bit of cushion? Absolutely. In a 40 boat field, um, you know, my goal there is to make the top 10. If I make the top 10, I don't have to worry about anybody. Um, so that's definitely the goal going there. And, and Otter Tail is gonna be interesting when we look at otter tail, just for the simple fact that it's a, a central Minnesota fishery, it's got a lot of weeds, a lot of deep weed lines. It's there again, it's the end of September. And for walleyes, if the water cools off, they could be in their fall patterns. If it doesn't, they're gonna be in that transition time where you know they could be shallow, they could be deep, you could be fishing multiple different techniques. But you know, the unique thing is when we come back to Minnesota, is that it's the one rod thing. So that's gonna make things a little bit more difficult for guys. Um, you know, a lot of states that we go to, we're able to use multiple lines. And uh, when we get to Otter Tail, it's gonna be one rod in your hand. Um, there, there could be some trolling. Uh, there absolutely could be some trolling, but uh, my guess is I'm gonna be up shallow, pitching some uh, power bait, uh, looking for those, those little schools in the weeds or looking for those inside turns, things like that. So I'll have a rod in hand and I'll probably be doing a lot of pitching. So really looking forward to otter tail and, and trying to finish off 2021 on a special note with a, my second angler of the year title so that's the goal and and once again can't thank my sponsors enough and um there was a lot of them that that 
definitely, you know, if we talk about Skeeter Boats and Yamaha and a lot of the partners that I have, it, it definitely was a whole key to my whole success. But, uh, you know, Johnson Outdoors and the products they build, every lake I go to, that's one of the products I rely on day in and day out.